everyone. You're watching my very last February International Challenge video here, and this is Trainer Connor. Post narrating this time, I'm not live recording. Alright, so I finished the tournament. 13 wins, 16 losses, and one disconnect. That is not bad, but I could do a little bit better overall, in my opinion, because I started out the tournament losing six straight, and that is unacceptable. As I said in my previous video, I was a little bit mad to see that happen because I would usually start out pretty strong and then fall back a little bit the next day or whatever, but no, I started out very bad and then I did okay this day and then the next day I did okay and I did terrible at that one point. Whatever, I finished with the record that I have and my goal now is to look back and then see what I can do to improve my double battles. But I am fortunate to bring you this battle that I managed to save. Just kind of give you guys an idea of what my battles were like. Of course, I did post my other two battles that I had going on on my channel. So if you haven't seen that, definitely hit those up because they were live recorded. You get to see what my reactions were like and vice versa. But this battle here, I am bringing Pyroar with a Focus Sash. Mega Gengar with Destiny Bong, Chonk, Sludge Bomb, and Protect. For Rothborn with a Rocky Helmet and the Iron Barbs, that's a lot of fun, especially against Kangaskhan, which I'm not going to be facing Mega Kangaskhan in this battle, but when I did, I bring For Rothborn. We'll see how we do with that. And then Defensive Wigglytuff versus May who this opponent here was way below the standings. I'm not sure how she would get that low, but she was at 1411 when I had 1500, I guess, I don't know. But she has an Altaria with Metagross, Blaziken, and Roserick. So we're going to see these guys in action and hope y'all enjoy this battle. Hit that like button if you enjoy and subscribe as well. And let's get going with this battle video. So, this first turn here is very interesting. You'll see why. My opponent leaves out with a Roserade and a Blaziken. And I see a Quick Claw activate. Why would you bring a fast Pokemon with a Quick Claw? Uh, that is very interesting there. <laughs> And she goes for the Giga Drain on my Gengar. Like, that's not... Like, if that's the only move that she had, like, if she had Sludge Bomb, she was targeted my Pyroar for some damage, but... No, she went for the wrong move, and... That's just what happened there. And I went for Taunt to hit the Blaziken, so that way it wouldn't set up Sword Stance. With a combination of speed boosts. I don't want that to happen. But the Blaziken goes for that Sky Uppercut. Which I would probably say, okay, you could go with that. It's, it's better than going for a high jump kick and miss. Whereas high jump kick will have a little bit more power. But Sky Uppercut will have less power. If that makes sense. But I was able to outspeed and burn the Metagross. And that is excellent. That way, this Metagross is a little bit more easier to deal with at this point. And I'm fortunate that it's not Mega Metagross, which I find very odd that these Pokemon are not going for their Mega Evolutions. Maybe that's why my opponent is going very low in the sand games. You tell me. The Bullet Punch, this is a critical hit and that did nothing. That's the bulk of my Wigglytuff. And then the Blaziken goes to the Brave Bird instead of Fuerblitz, maybe. I don't know. I think a Fuerblitz was KO'd at that range. But since I was able to live, I can take out the Blaziken and damage the Metagross a little bit there. 
for the for that chip damage there to ensure a KO later on. Her last Pokemon is Altaria, I believe. And I have Ferrothorn. I'm going to deal with the Megalos here, expecting a bullet punch. But I was probably thinking, okay, she might have a Mega Altaria. So we'll damage the Altaria with a Sludge Bomb with my Gengar. Now you see how awesome this strategy is when you bring in Ferrothorn like that? That is excellent. And that's great against the likes of Mega Kangaskhan and other physical attackers. I could have brought in Ferrothorn on the Sky Uppercut, but it's risky. Very risky there. Now, my opponent went for the Cotton Guard earlier with her Alcaria, and I'm not sure why, because I am hitting her with Sludge Bombs and all that stuff. Now, I am fortunate to go for Thunder Wave on the next turn here. This way, the Alcaria is a little bit slower, I can probably damage her some more, and it'll be a little bit easier. And we'll see how Bullet Punch will deal with my Gengar. I think I went for Destiny Bond earlier, I don't remember. But that's neither here nor there. I'm going to damage the Alcaria because I know the burn is going to take out the Metagross anyway, so that's kind of why I went for that strategy there. And that is going to be the battle, so a little bit quicker with the match, but you know what? That was still a fun match, and I hope you all enjoyed it. Hit that like button for some more content. Well, actually, I screwed up. I meant, if you want to see more Wi-Fi battles, then hit that like button and subscribe. There we go. Alright, you guys have a great day. I'll come at you with some more battles later this week. Have a great one, guys. Bye.